this is going to surprise you. I'm going to end on a positive note. Uh, we've been okay. we're pretty critical of, of, of Trump's foreign policy, I think, for good reason. But here's, I think, one good thing that will happen. It, uh, the media is speculating. It appears that he's not going to go over there and hector the countries about their human rights records. Uh, and that is a little bit of non-interventionism that's very, very helpful because the interventionists use the human rights record as a tool to get humanitarian interventionists involved in military interventions. So I think it's actually a very good sign that he's not going to go over there lecturing other countries about human rights. Boy, that, that's a good suggestion. I rec remember one time on a committee uh, hearing, and this subject came up. I'm not sure it was with China, but with, what it was with uh, another country, where we wanted to punish them for their violations of civil rights on their individuals and how they protect uh, human rights. And I pointed out about three or four incidents where we weren't doing so well ourselves. And the guy, more or less, the other congressman just sort of threw up his hands and said, touche, you know. He, he had no argument because we, we uh, have failed to protect civil rights here in this country, and that's what we should work on. That's what we're responsible for. And I say set a good example, and maybe others will follow us. We've had to set a good example on monetary policy and economic policy and diplomacy and foreign policy. I think that uh, people might say, you know, America is a great place, and maybe uh, there is something like that. Maybe we ought to look at it and follow it. This intimidation that we will spread American greatness by intimidation and weapons and troops and force it on other people, an absolute failure. It's cruel and unusual punishment for other people. It shouldn't be done the way, and since it doesn't work, we should think about improving ourselves, looking to ourselves uh, as a country and as a people to set an example for others. I think that's a much better way to work toward peace and prosperity.